Lord, we're asking for revival fire, Lord, to hit Lakeland again. Lord, I pray for seasons of prayer and fasting. Lord, would you rally the hearts of your people? Lord, I thank you for messengers from the outside that you'll send to us. That will stoke the fire. But Lord, we need each and every person, even in this room, Lord, committed to your work. Lord, we thank you that it's beyond us. Lord, we thank you that it's beyond our wildest imagination. Lord, we pray for fire in the kids' church. We pray for fire in the youth group. Lord, we thank you for Kathleen and Raul. And Lord, we say, let your fire fall. Lord, I pray for revival in our high schools in Lakeland. Lord, we thank you that the word of the Lord will run swiftly. Lord, it will accomplish every purpose, every desire that you sent forth. Lord, we thank you for the Daniels. Lord, we thank you for the Zacharias and the Jeremiahs. Lord, we thank you for the Samuels. Would you mark your messengers in Lakeland for your glory, God? Lord, we pray for the college campuses. We pray for Florida Southern. We pray for Southeastern. We pray for Polk State. Lord, we thank you for this millennial generation. Lord, though they're lazy, we're asking that you would release a laboring spirit, God. Lord, release a laboring spirit in Lakeland. Lord, charge the atmosphere with light. We ask that you would break the power of addiction. Lord, break the power of pornography off this generation and raise up a generation of God gazers. Lord, we declare to Lakeland, come and kiss the sun. Lord, we declare to Lakeland, come and be transformed by the power of God. And Lord, I pray for the church in Lakeland. We cry out for unity. We cry out for unity. We cry out for unity. Lord, unite the denominations in Lakeland. Lord, breathe fire upon pastors and leaders. God, we're asking that you would do something beyond our wildest imaginations. Oh God, we ask that you would stir the fire in our own hearts. Lord, when are people in this room going to stop living off of someone else's fire and get their own fire? God, release fire. Lord, rip the feeding tubes out of our mouths and our hearts from living our life off a man or woman in the pulpit. And God, would you teach us how to pray? you teach us how to encounter the Lord of glory. Lord, we need oil in our lamps. Lord, we need oil in our lamps. Lord, keep us burning. Lord, keep us burning. Lord, give us grace to raise up disciples. Lord, I want to raise up and launch out 10,000 messengers to the nations. Lord, I'm believing you for a Bible training school. Lord, I'm believing you that you'll send men and women from the four corners of the earth that would be a blessing. God, we ask that you would do it in the name of Jesus. Come on, I could pray all day. Come on, pray. Pray, God, we ask more than enough. I don't care what it's going to take. I don't care what it's going to cost us. I don't care if we can't see it in the natural. Let's begin to prophesy it. Let's begin to awake and shake ourselves up out of our slumber. Lord, I thank you that the giftings that you've given us aren't for us. They're for your body. And Lord, I call upon men and women in this room who are allowing the gifts that you've put inside of them to become dormant. Lord, I ask for fire this morning. Lord, I ask for fire this morning. Lord, I ask for fire this morning. Position us. Place us, God. Awaken us in the name of Jesus. Oh, I believe the Lord is saying we're not ready for what's coming. Many of you are looking for a stream and the Lord says a tidal wave of my glory is coming. And you've got to begin to get ready for my glory is going to roar. My glory is going to roar in this city. The Lion of Judah is roaring. Who can but prophesy? I am raising up a company of prophets in Lakeland that will prophesy to the nations. 
visions. They will dream dreams and they will have visions. And I will begin to rumble even this morning if you'll say yes to me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I don't care what people think, Lord. I don't care how many people. We just want disciples. But the Lord is saying many of you are asking, waiting for man to ask you to do something. And the Lord is saying, I'm asking you to do something. You're looking for man's permission. And God says, I'm giving you permission. Give us dreams and visions even right now, Lord. We ask that the spirit realm would become open over Lakeland. Lord, we know that your plans have been aborted many times in this city. Lord, we're asking that you would go full term here. I believe Lakeland hasn't seen anything yet. Lord, we're believing. I believe the Lord has said to me that Lakeland is an end time revival city. That people from the United States are going to move to Lakeland, Florida. For there shall be a sound that will be released out of this house that will awaken the sleepers. The Lord says many of my servants are stuck in caves all across the nation. They're bound in shame and guilt and condemnation. But a sound shall go forth as in the days of Amos that will awaken. They will hear the roar. And they will come running. The Lord says, get ready for they will come running to this place. And all they'll know is that they've heard a roar. Oh, I hear the Lord saying that the days are over where people move to cities because they get a job and then they'll find a church. I believe the Lord is saying that people are going to begin to move geographically because they sense the presence. It's time for the kingdom to come and then all else will be added after that. I believe that there's a geographic shift coming to the United States. It's a presence shift. People are going to begin to move because they sense that the presence of God is beginning to stir them and then they'll get a job. And so, Lord, I ask that you would stir us, stir us, stir us in the name of Jesus. I just feel like the Lord is just stirring in that way. I feel like he's put three words in my heart that I just want to speak them out. One, the Lord is saying focus is absolutely essential. It is so easy to be sidetracked. Have you not seen in the history of my people how they have started so well? So I called you to myself. I gifted you. You were small in your own eyes. And what happened to you? You were corrupted by your own PR. You were corrupted by what men said to you. And my Even if no one recognizes. 
even if no one praises, even if no one sees, even if no one appreciates. No, I have promised that my reward is certain and sure for you. Is that enough if men do not chime in and praise you? Mm. Decide if you'll partner with me for the way of the cross is not the way of the praise of men. The way of the cross is not the way of convenience and comfort, but it is the way that leads to glory. And I call you to it. Walk on the path of glory. Weigh the cost. Decide if you will follow with me and I will lead you in a way that will astound you. Your expectations will be exploded as you see what I will do. You must keep your focus. You must be flexible in heart. And you must partner with me as I lead you. The issue of obedience is paramount. Listen to what I would say, not the voice of men. And when you hear my voice, you must be quick and meticulous to obey. Or my work will fall to the ground. I have purpose, glory, and I call you into that place. Be holy, mine. Be holy about me, and my glory will shine mm. in this place. Mm.